now. The men are being positioned. What does it mean? Covering your fence, someone. Hold them off. Put the question to it. Next thing he knows, he's burning. Are they coming for me? Very possibly. Are you afraid, Savantes? Where's your courage? Is that in your imagination, too? No one's safe, Savantes. This is happening. Not to your brave man or much, but to you. Quick, Savantes. Call upon him. Let him shield you. Let him save you, if he can, from that! Thank you. Good. Now you can continue. If I might just for a moment. This place, La Mancha. What is it like? An empty place. A great wide plain. A desert. A wasteland. Which apparently grows lunatics. <laughs> I would say rather a man of illusion. Much the same. Why are you poets so fascinated with men? I suppose we have much in common. You both turn your backs on life. People select from life what pleases us. Man has come to terms with life as it is. My friend. Can you do nothing? I'm afraid there'll be more need of my services than his. Where is he, I wonder? In what dark cavern of the mind? According to recent theory... Doctor, that... please. Don't you think I did right? Yes, there's the contradiction. You again! Uh, tell him to go away. What harm can he do? Yes, it's all been done. Your Grace, could I talk to him? He may not hear you. Well, then I won't say much. And no mention of knight errantry. Of course. I tried to stop her, but then she I dare you. It's that slut from the inn. Get out of here. Touch me again, my God. Get out of here. No. Go quietly. Not I'm not Let me! me. Senor Quijano, in my house there will be courtesy. Come closer, girl. Now then, what is it you want? Don't you remember who I am? Should I? I'm Aldonza. I'm sorry, I, I do not recall anyone of that name. He knows. Please, my lord. Why do you say my lord? I, I am not a lord. You are my lord. Don Quixote. Don Quixote? You must forgive me, I have been ill. I'm confused by shadows. It is possible I knew you once, but I do not remember. This way. Please, try to remember. Oh. Master! Master! Is there one here who calls himself Don Quixote de la Mancha? If there is, and he be not afraid to look upon me, let him send forth! I am Don Quixote, knight of the woeful countenance. Now hear me, thou charlatan! Thou art no knight but a foolish pretender! Thy pretense is a child's mockery, and thy principles dart beneath my feet! Oh, false knight, discourteous! Before I chastise thee, tell me thy name! Thou shalt hear it in due course! Then say why thou seekest me out! You call upon me, Don Quixote! Thou reviled me and threatened me! Enchanter! Behold at thy feet the gauge of battle! No, master, no! Oh, on what terms do we fight? Choose thine own. Very well! If thou art beaten, thy freedom is forfeit, and thou must obey my every command. And thy conditions? If thou art still alive, thou shalt kneel and beg mercy of my lady Dulcinea. And where shall I find this lady? There she sits. Thy lady <laughs> is an alley cat! Monster! Defend thyself! Oh! You ask my name, Don Quixote. Now I shall tell it. I am called the Knight of the Mirrors! Come at you! Look in the mirror of reality and behold things as they truly are! Look, the 
Quixote. What dost thou see? A gallant knight, not but an aging fool. No. Look, Don Quixote, what dost thou see? A madman dressed for a masquerade. <laughs> Look, Don Quixote, see him as he truly is. See the clown! Clown, Don Quixote, clown, show the mirror! Oh, jeez, he... The masquerade is ended. Confess, thy lady is a trollop, and the dream, the nightmare of a disordered mind. I am Don Quixote, knight Ferrante of La Mancha, and my lady is the lady Dulcinea. I am Don Quixote, and my lady, my lady, my lady, <laughs> it is done. <laughs> Forgive me, Senor Tiana. It was the only way. And now there enters on the scene a man of reading, intelligence, logic. He is Antonia's fiance, Dr. Sanson Carrasco, Bachelor of Science, graduate of the University of Salamanca. A man who carries his own self-importance is though afraid of breaking it. No, no, your uncle is a lunatic. No. I had forgotten the family arguments do have a way of getting out of hand. With so much at stake in the game, let us rearrange the peace hands. The queen, clever. The castle, formidable. The bishop, charmingly diagonal. And now the problem of the night. Samson. Have you heard? On my way here, I was informed by at least 10 people. My dear, your uncle is the laughing stock of the entire neighborhood. Padre, what do you know of this? Only that the good Signor Fiana has been carried away by his imagination. Signor Fiana has lost his mind and suffers from delusion. Is there a difference? Exactitude of meaning. I beg to remind you, Padre, that I am a doctor. Please don't argue. We must do something about him. I'm a little bit more concerned about us. Us? What do you mean, us? My, our marriage, my dear. There's a certain embarrassment of having a man and in the family. In the eyes of us... Oh, come, come, doctor. Do not relish having an uncle as a lunatic. The innocent must pay for the sins of the guilty. Guilty of what? A gentle delusion. Gentle? How do you know it's gentle? By this time, who knows what violence he has committed. Uh, he was armed. With sword and lance. Samson, I had hoped for so much for us. For you, really. Everything was to be for you. My uncle's house, his land. True, doctor. In time, it would all be yours. After all, if one is to serve science, one must have the means. Are you priests or pornbrokers? What I meant was, consider the challenge. Challenge? Think what cleverness it would take to wean this man from madness, to turn him from his course, and persuade him to return home. Hmm, that is a challenge. Impossible. He can't have gotten far. No more than a day's journey. Well, get ready, Padre. We shall go after him. But as we go, but as we go, there is one thing that I want the world to know. With pain, that once again we now will hear a very haunting bird refrain. They won't be thinking of him, thinking of him, thinking of him. Why don't they do or say? I'm only thinking of him. In my body, it's well known there is not one selfish bone. 